All right, welcome back everybody. We are hiking from Magomejuku post town to Sumagojuku post town, 7.6 kilometers on a beautiful old road. If you didn't watch the previous video, I urge you to go back and watch. This is part two of a three-part series. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. We wander all over the world in places that you have and haven't heard of. Big towns, small towns, nature, cities, all over the world. All right, here's our first sign. Nakasindo. This is the trail, the historic trail to Tumagojuku. Let's do it. Let's appreciate this one more time. Just insane. A little bit of ankle twisting factor here on these widely spaced cobbles. So, bear danger and ankle twisting danger, but not overheating danger. The weather is lovely. And right away into a bamboo grove. Hmm. That's a sign you don't see very often. Bears. I read that there's not as many uphills mm -hmm. when you come this way. Wow, it's already gorgeous, isn't it? Pardon my huffing and puffing. The stairs will get me.
but I'm feeling spry. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. And seven kilometers later, we will get there. We'll see how long that takes us on this kind of uneven up and down terrain. And I'm gonna be outside of the occasional wow. I'll try and let you enjoy this. A little bit of forest bathing on this historic walking path. Enjoy it, everybody. And down here we have a bear bell. If you watch this hike on other YouTubers' channels, they might cut out some of these parts where it's modern and it's a road. Ring the bell hard against bears. That's what it says. Nakasindo, 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 I think. Sheesh. Live and in Technicolor. Mm, there's, that's what the bear bell sounds like. I didn't want to blow after eardrums, so we did not ring the bell hard against bears. Beautiful. <sighs> Stay hydrated. That's the key. You gotta be ready to run from the bears, or at least run a little bit faster than the next hiker behind you. I'm gonna assume that says go this way. Seven point two kilometers. The countdown continues. The older Japanese couple behind me is very serious about bears, which makes me think that I should be very serious about bears too. They've got whistles and bells and they're ringing the bells. I love it. As long as I keep them within earshot, I should be fine. They will take care of bear prevention tactics. Wow, such a pretty day, insane.
pleased that it is like this today for our hike. Of this. Sumago Juku, this way. Seven kilometers left, everyone. I wonder how long that'll take us. I'm thinking two hours. Okay, cover up your ears, turn down your volume. I'm ringing the bell. that bell. Look at how pretty it is. Into the woods we go. A little slippery. It's a cool shot. Top of the stairs.
Oh wow. It's like a water wheel over there. Stopping place. Shall we rest for a minute and have a drink before we head uphill? I think that's a good idea. And we can check this place out. All right, 6.8 kilometers, slow progress. These are little way stations. Pretty nice. All right, drink has been consumed, which is good because every bit that I drink is less weight that I'm carrying. Well, in my bag, I guess I'm carrying the weight just differently. The bear bell is gone. If this is less uphill, the other side's got to be crazy. Get a long sleeve shirt on because it was supposed to be cool today. Rethinking that at the moment. Six point seven. That section should have counted as more. All right, 
flat spot. Little shop here, the soft serve <laughs> at the end of the trail, soft serve for me. Not until then, you gotta earn your soft serve, boy. Burn the calories, then consume the calories. The trees are starting to change. I hadn't noticed it until just now. I bet in another two weeks, this is mind-numbingly beautiful. I mean, it ain't bad right now. Six point five. I'll be happy to see a five. then I'll feel like we have accomplished something. All right, long sleeve shirt has come off. Short sleeve shirt for the win. And hat has come off too in favor of a headband because it is H-O-T hot. Free garden. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's better. What a place to live. cool no an ice cream truck
Ja. Genieß mal. Whew. Oh, cool garden here. And it looks like a school group. <clears throat> and a resting stop. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lots of school groups. It's a cool field trip. For sure. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good. How are you? Mm. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> That's awesome. Love Japanese school groups. So proud to try out their English. Very fun. I found that to be a pretty universal thing when I run into groups of high schoolers or younger, they want to practice English and I'm glad to oblige.
Lots of confidence usually too. Thank God for a flat part. Good Lord. Starting to think this whole thing was gonna be hills. I knew most of it was gonna be hills, but pretty much all of it has been so far. What a place to live on this trail. The stream running by your house. I would never leave. I would just open up a little coffee shop stand for folks walking the trail. Cold brew. Cold brew and ice water and lemonade. <laughs> I guess that's my business strategy. Open up a lemonade stand. It's not a bad strategy though. The blue skies, the green trees, the brown homes. A magical scene. I'm loving it. I think he wants to take a picture. I'm in the shot. In the next 100 school kids will be in his shot. You got one minute. Snap, snap. Oh, we've got a map up here. That just basically told us we're leaving the first town's historic zone. Which is not as encouraging as I was hoping for. Honestly. Cool stone Tory gate up there. More uphill. Let's do it. The cedar trees are very pretty.
elevation 777 meters. Five point seven kilometers. Hee hee, a five. Whew. Oh, you know what would have been bad? A rainy day. <laughs> so I'm not gonna complain about the hills because we've got insane weather. And maybe we're near the top. They don't put elevation signs in the midpoint, do they? Nagano Prefecture and Nagiso Town. So we're entering Nagano, not the city, but the prefecture. Windy up here. We'll dip down into some trees again soon. Man, does that wind feel good. I know it's probably blowing out the mic, sorry. Turn it down if you want, and I'll give you a thumbs up when the wind noise is gone. Ah, I love it. Group picture. This might go on record as the prettiest walk I've ever done. I've done a lot of walks. Eyes in the sun. There's a little shop over here. I'm trying not to film these kids directly in their faces. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so fun. All right, 5.5 kilometers. <laughs> you know what this is? It's freaking downhill, baby. It's freaking downhill. Probably not gonna get five kilometers of downhill, but I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. Can you imagine the work of building this trail hundreds of years ago. Oh yeah, this is good. This is the stuff. They should make this trail entirely downhill. 
And this is Japan. Maybe they could do escalators for the uphill part. Ding, ding, ring, ring. Don't attack me bears. Ding, 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 ding. Trucking along. This is not a very well preserved section of the trail. Beautiful nonetheless. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So this is video two, much longer than video one. Video three will be in our destination town. Sumago Juku. Pardon my terrible pronunciation, everyone. Links to more information about these towns and this trail in the video description. Wow, it's so pretty here. Do 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 yeah gorgeous and here's the bear bell bear bell should we ring it should we ring the bear bell that one doesn't make much noise only nearby bears will hear that one. It's a well-trafficked trail on a Friday this nice, so I doubt we're going to run into a bear. <clears throat> Famous last words of YouTuber, bit of a wonder. Oh, I'm eating up this downhill section. We're going to be in the fours before we know it. There's nothing like a good walk in the woods. And this is an excellent walk in the woods. Think back hundreds of years ago, before the telegram, and riding a horse down a road like this, because this is a road, now it's a trail, but riding a horse down a road like this is the only way to get news and messages as quickly as possible from one part of the country to another. That's mind blowing. Like you could have a major event and not know about it for weeks in some parts of the country. Like, you know, a major fire, earthquake, unbelievable. The birth of a granddaughter. And you just, there'd be no way of knowing. It's so hard to, it may be actually impossible to imagine for most of us in the way we live in an age of instant information and instant transmission. But spending some time in a place like this does make you understand isolation. I say, talking to uh, thousands of people around the world through a device in my hand. Konnichiwa.
the gimbal just went crazy. But didn't die. I'll edit that out. Signal for editing. Look at this. This is going to be the one of the videos that I watch back myself many times. Can you try? Beautiful little stream here. So far it's been nothing but downhill since the crest of that one mountain. So here's hoping that that was it, but I somehow doubt it. But I think that was the Magame Pass, the peak up there. So we'll see. Maybe it was the one big hill. Sumago Juku. where we're headed. Oh, look at the shine and the little cairns.
This might be a rest stop up here. I could sip on some green tea. That would be nice. I mean, come on. If you come out to do this walk, I recommend that you also do it on the prettiest day in the history of the world. Kind of a bummer knowing that I'm making my masterpiece right now. Ah, uh, where are you from? Huh? Ah, uh, Taiwan. Taiwan yeah. mm. Where are you from? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. In the oh, United okay. States. United States. Oh. Yeah. Are you filming from uh, are you a YouTuber? YouTube. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Nice touch. I see what you did there. A free tea room. Very nice. Very nice. And a bathroom break. One second. Well, this is a great little spot. Looks like a free tea room for tips and conversation and discussion. Very neat. But we're gonna keep on hiking. Good God, it's pretty. 4.7 kilometers to go. We've gone three kilometers so far, so we're not quite at the halfway point. The wildflowers are a nice touch. A uh, little bit of a preserve section here with the stones. Very nice. We'll get a shot of the trail here. There we go. And we'll give them a little bit of privacy. Don't need to climb their backs. Oh, this is wonderful. What a great time. Definitely a risky section there for your ankles. Alright, if they're gonna take a lot of pictures, then I'll be going past them at some point.
but I don't blame them. Look at that. That is pretty. fern covered section of the forest over here. get a little further ahead for y'all so you can have a little bit of uninterrupted view but I can hear the bells of people behind us too and honestly everybody's so nice that I don't really mind sharing the trail a little bit today usually I like isolation but this is Cool experience for everybody. And I like thinking about how many people have walked this path over the centuries. So we're sharing it metaphorically with hundreds of thousands or millions of people, probably hundreds of thousands, I would think. generations and generations. Oh my God, I think this was definitely the way to go. Look at how much downhill there is. So much downhill. This section of the trail is a little, a little wet and a little slippery, but not too bad. So if you're wondering if you have the stamina and the energy to do this, well, I'm in my mid forties. I walk a lot, but I'm not an athletic specimen. I've got a arthritis in my hip and knee on the left side from a surgery when I was really young. So. Good Lord, if I can do it, then you can do it, 100%. Oh, that nice couple is hanging the bear sign back up on the bell. Good for you. All right, here we go. Bang the gong. Gotta hit it harder than that. Bang, bang. All right, now we're out in front. We'll never give up our lead.
yeah, I'm hopeful, speaking of that arthritis and that bum leg, if you listen closely, you can probably hear a bit of unevenness to my gait. But I'm hoping that that's inspiring to a lot of folks. But uh, you don't need to let anything stop you. Got a bad leg? Start a YouTube channel that is all about walking. Wow, that is a, the water is so clear, crystal clear. But as beautiful as this is, I'm surprised there's not more little shrines along the way. I mean, it's a stunning little section of the mountain. Lots of creeks and streams and tall cedars. I've absolutely fallen in love with this part of Japan and I didn't know it very well prior to this trip. But I've explored a few towns now and taken some train journeys and I love it. It's just beautiful. Ooh, a little section of road here, don't get hit. by that Porsche. What a day. I don't have the heart to tell them how much uphill is headed their way. So much uphill. All the uphill. God, I'm glad I picked the other way. Ooh, mossy. I love moss. Little moss covered forest section. I love it. It's a much smaller trail than this part. Uh, and we're at two thirds of our gimbal life remaining. And I'm not sure about how much phone battery remaining, but we'll stop and check at the next waypoint. Little gimbal adjustment there. More downhill. This section is pretty steep. They've added a board with vertical ridges. The washboard there. It's very steep. Oh. It is, as of right now, noon. Just turned noon, in case you were wondering. And it is early October. And I've walked 11,000 steps so far today. Definitely gonna be another 20,000 step day. I'm trying to get 20,000 steps every single day of this trip.
beef up those legs. Legs like tree trunks, right? All right, I'll take that. That is not too shabby, very pretty. Tangled mess of roots here. Let's try not to trip and fall. Ring the farewell. I really want to ring it every time I walk past one, but it's going to be really loud in your ears. So I'm trying not to. This looks like the next stop, but I'm going to keep on trucking. I'm not ready for a rest yet. I got another kilometer in me. Best room. Nice. Uh, this looks like a fairly new bridge over the stream here. Three point seven. We're in the threes. Does that mean halfway? We crossed the halfway point, everybody. Huzzah! Yeah, we're doing it. And God bless if it doesn't look like there's even more downhill headed our way. God, can you imagine doing this the other way? Pro tip: don't do it the other way. <laughs> I can't believe I was complaining about that uphill earlier. How fast are we going? 113 kilometers per hour. No, that's not what that means. I think that means how long, how many seconds before the red light goes off. <laughs> but I do have a pretty good clip going. 100 miles an hour. Oh, 55 seconds until the light changes. All this yellow construction equipment just adds to the vibrancy of this part of the walk. Sheesh. And this is not HDR, everybody. This is just straight out of the camera. Just beautiful. And for those wondering, it is uh, an iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's what we're shooting this walk on. And it's what I shoot everything on. It's life's to, whoa. Nakasindo cl closed due to road collapse. Please take a detour. Okay. Nakasindo is a the trail we're on. So we'll take this detour. Wherever they tell us to go is where we will go. But that looks like the trail that went up that way. So this is a reason for me to come back. I'm not gonna get to do that little section. And this looks like the road collapse section here. They are shoring up, you can see the all the rope up there. Oh well, 
we'll take the detour. Hopefully it's not too long of a detour. That's gonna throw off our kilometer count. Hopefully it throws it off in the lower variety, not in the higher. Here's a little waterfall. Very pretty. We'll try not to get hit by a car on our little detour. I know I'm gushing, but good God, this is the perfect day for a hike. If I could dial up any weather in the universe, it would be this. 64 degrees, mostly sunny, poofy white clouds. I'm gonna eat the hell out of some soft serve. <laughs> I'll have earned it. We're at uh, six miles walked on the day and about uh, four kilometers on the trail so far. All right, we'll see where we pick back up. I'm not sure where the detour ends. Oh, there's a detour sign up here. There's some waterfalls. That's happy. The Odakimadeki. Odakimadeki waterfalls. That sounds fun. If they're on the trail, because I'm absolutely not sidetracking today. Because I've got to get back to Tokyo. I'm trying to make this a day trip out of Tokyo. Detour, go down here to the waterfalls. Okay. If you say so. Steep, I think we're gonna have to deal with some uphill. <laughs> Hey, it's me in shadow form. Very steep. Well, this detour takes us to the waterfall. That's pretty cool. All right, that's not so far out of my way that I won't do it. Let's go check it out. And there's another one over here. Let's do this one first. This looks like a good viewpoint. Right here. With some people being people.
That is a pretty waterfall. Mm. And time for us to keep on trucking. Hit the old dusty trail. These are beautiful waterfalls. Well, that is gorgeous. Wow, hope you enjoyed uh, getting a chance to pause and enjoy that waterfall. That was certainly gorgeous. Oh no, uphill. Three point two kilometers. We've gone five point one. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Ring that bell. Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have joked about that uphill. Wear a hard hat. I don't have a hard hat. All right, here's some serious uphill. This was the way, wasn't it? I better check. I just need to double check. I don't want to go the wrong way. Yeah, it is. Whew. Could you imagine climbing this uphill and then realizing that you didn't need to do it? I'm gonna leave that in, I'm not gonna edit it out. The people must know the truth. This isn't so bad. There's some people stopped up here. Must be a sign. Maybe a map. Because they're pointing at said sign.
Hello. I think that would be the section over here where the bear would be. Yeah, back in there. That's where the bear lives. This is not an original bit of the trail. <laughs> this asphalt was introduced a few years later. I hope we do get another good, well-preserved section before we get to the old town. And I hope it's downhill the whole rest of the freaking way. These poor, poor suckers who have been hiking the wrong direction. Unless they're doing it for extra health benefits, in which case, well done. German, I think. Ring the bell. Scared in bears, yes. Do it. Do it. I think that would be like on a weekday and certain times of the year, that would be absolutely critical to do that when you're the only one out here. Let's, let's hike. God bless downhill. It's so good. I think that's like my drug of choice is downhill parts of walks. Nothing gets me smiling and happier more than a downhill section of a hike. Don't do drugs, kids. You can see how gigantic some of these mountains are over here. Massive. And you can see why this pass, a lower section of the mountains, a little saddleback that you can run up through, um, would have been so absolutely critical. Uh, Back home in Kentucky, we have a section of mountains called the Cumberland Gap, which was the same sort of thing. And it provided the path for pioneers and Native Americans for many generations before the pioneers to get from uh, Kentucky or Tennessee and Virginia up into Kentucky. So same concept, you need a mountain pass if you're gonna take horses and wagons and any volume of people. Nakasindo roundabout way. Well, closed to all vehicles and pedestrians. Pedestrian passage this way. <laughs> okay. Uh, why not? Oh, my stomach just rumbled. That means I need more food. Hello. Nice to meet you on the roundabout way. I think we're just detouring somebody's house. Interesting. Because this is not a very good section of trail here. I wonder if that is a personal preference of theirs or if there's something wrong with the trail. Because 
are certainly going through their backyard. Oh, there's a cat on a hot tin roof. Son of a gun. Look at that. <laughs> the jokes just write themselves, don't they? Meow. 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 Hello, kitty. Meow, meow. Well, you've moved to the shady section, so it's more like cat on a kind of warm tin roof. We're back. We're back on the trail. The roundabout route has taken us to the normal route. I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, it looks like trail repair, actually. Hello, kitty. Why not? Pictures of cats. Kitty cats and blue skies and green trees and this is amazing. 2.7 more kilometers to go. Hello. Well, another cool section. Look at this bamboo forest. Oh. <sighs> I've done a lot of walks in Japan now. This one certainly takes the cake. You know what I didn't look up? That I normally do look up? before hiking in a country, is I didn't look up whether or not Japan has poisonous snakes. Somebody can drop that in the comments. Let me know. Should I have been watching out for poisonous snakes? If you go out in the woods today, be sure to wear your boots. Part of me wants to say that Japan does not have poisonous snakes, but do not take that as accurate information. Google it yourself. The internet won't lie to you. <laughs> I'm in incredible spirits. This is so frickin' gorgeous. Oh. So pretty. It is now 12.30 and the step check is 13,500.
I think blue makes green look greener and green makes blue look bluer. If that makes sense. Because I don't think it would feel this green if the sky was gray. A different kind of green. Also sunlight. <laughs> Oh, look at this section. Just beautiful. This is a remarkable little section of the trail. I'm gonna have to nab a picture of this. A little turn around here. Hopefully a pedestrian free picture if I can nab one. Almost. It's our friends from Taiwan. I don't mind if they're in a picture. There's a pretty section over there too. Okay, I'm gonna get this beautiful picture. And I do have a pole in the way there. There we go, it's like it doesn't even exist. But you and I all know that there's a utility pole right there. <laughs> what a pretty section of trail. If this switchback's all the way down, there's gonna be quite a few little photo opportunities. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? This might be the best preserved section of the trail we've been on so far. And I almost just turned my ankle. Welcome back, Stones. Just gorgeous. Little waterfall over here too. This would not be fun going up. Yeah, this is insane. Look how cool this is. Well, that might be a good thumbnail. I don't know if it really tells the story of how beautiful today was though. So I might need to get a thumbnail with blue skies from earlier. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Dude, are you running the trail? Amazing, amazing. Those are some balls. I mean, your ankle could just go at any minute. Crazy, but good for you. <laughs> Don't die. I'll stop at the next stoppy stop and finish my green tea, which has about half left for the final two kilometers. It's the final climb down. That's enough singing. That's not too shabby right there. Yeah, and there's a place to sit. All right. Time.
Oh, is that a place to sit? Might not be. Might be a woodshed. <laughs> Which is different than a place to sit. Let's not get hit by this bus. Those of you who are longtime viewers of the channel know that rule number one of wandering is don't step out in front of a bus. You can drink this water. I don't know. I'm only so trusting. Would you all do it? Would you? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I've got a bottle of green tea here, so I'll probably pass on drinking the hose water. Although, growing up, drinking from the hose was one of uh, life's greatest joys on a summer, summer day. Out filling up water balloons, playing in the yard. Sheesh. Let's stop. That would be cheating. Two point two kilometers to go. Samago Joku. Samago Juku. I keep saying Joku. Juku. I think Juku is the word for town or post town. Look at the garden. Very pretty. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow because what the hell could top this? My legs might be sore tomorrow. <laughs> I've been doing steps like this, but uh, certainly not uphill and downhill like this. I've been walking in cities primarily. You can drink this water would be a bad thing to mistranslate. This is a pretty little village. Nichiwa. Okay, I've noticed everybody does a really long ah at the end. So I'm gonna start doing that. Konnichiwa. I think it's more friendly. We're expressing more happiness to see someone, but that is not a fact. I just don't know. But it seems like everybody's smiling, and then you draw out the ah, so. Maybe I learned a thing. I'll look it up later. I love this place. very much.
Hello, little van. And other little van, sweet. Konnichiwa. So, my son. Sukoi? Sukoi. I think that was an inn back there that you could stay at. That would be a thing. That would be a thing to do. Color. I thought that tarp was the water for a second. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, that's the bluest water I've ever seen. 1.8, we're in the ones, everybody. 1.8, Sumagujuku. Yeah! And this looks like a restaurant and probably an inn. God, I can't wait to get off my feet and eat two soft serves. Oh, lizard. He ran into the bushes. He had no tail, so I think a skink. I think a skink. I think that was a tanuki. Maybe time to break out the sun hat again. Floppy hat.
hope this is the trail. It just occurred to me that there was a fork back there and I haven't seen any, oh, there's a sign of some sort. This feels like the trail. It feels like it wouldn't have gone on the road up there. But this also feels like a road. Hmm. Hmm. One second. Okay, I waited long enough to see if I could find some other people and two people walked by. So, I guess this is right. Or we can all be wrong together and we can all sit at the bottom of this hill and cry. Oh, there's some people walking up there. there so maybe this is parallel maybe I did take a wrong turn but I'll find a sign there will be a road crossing we'll call this another roundabout way if this is not right I think this is like concrete blasted to keep it from caving in So yeah, this is probably not the trail, but not, not the trail, if that makes sense. Because I see trail literally right there. So, we're walking right underneath a section of trail. So I might have missed a little turn back there. There you can see it. I'll survive. I think there's a signpost right here. Yeah, here's the little section of trail we missed. 1.2 away. Oh, it's all downhill from here. Oh, this looks pretty. Look at that. Wow. I mean, really? Wow. Wow, 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 wow.
crystal clear snow melt probably. I think most of the rivers around here are at least partially snow fed, but it's October, so maybe not. I think the Alps though, the Japanese Alps, do keep their snow peaks year round. I'll have to be very careful now and look for the signs. I'd rather not miss another one because when we get to the very end here, that could <laughs> be very bad. All right, here we go. Here's the sign. Boom. And this looks right. If there were little flower boxes, I, you could be forgiven for thinking that this was Switzerland or Austria. Step count, we're at 16,000, seven and a half miles on the day. Not all of that on this trail. Good chunk of it though, <laughs> good chunk of it. Konnichiwa. Ah, this looks like rice. I think that is a rice patty. If I'm not mistaken. I'm frequently mistaken, but I think that's right. Yeah, there's terraced rice patties. Very nice. I don't think I've ever seen rice cultivation in person in real life. So that's a treat. a pretty steep downhill. Might not look like it on the video. My bad leg is literally dying. It is on fire. a little cemetery. You know, as far as final resting spots go, 
This is an amazing one. There's a very helpful sign, I'm sure, for some. Right. Helpful hikers coming the other direction. Tell me which way to go. Holy cow, I'm glad I didn't come up that way. That's just nothing but uphill for seven kilometers. Don't smoke while walking. You know what? That's good life advice. Don't smoke in general, but especially while walking. In a cedar forest. Looks like a cave in here. We will keep this video going until I get to Sumugo Juku, Sumugo Juku proper. In which case will be the end of this incredible hike. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me and join me as well for part three of this series in which we explore the town that we've just spent a long time walking to together. Looking forward to that exploration. Looking forward to that soft serve. Looking forward to that bench. It's gonna be amazing. Can't wait to do that with all of you. And I think I see the start of town just up past this big building. So we'll walk just to the edge of this. And that's where we'll wrap up this incredible walk. I hope everybody loved it. This may be one of the, just the absolute favorite walks I've ever done. I hope you loved it too. And if you made it this far, thank you. Thank you so much. Loved going on this walk with you. Loved sharing this beautiful place with you. And I hope you join me for many, many more future walks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. We will. Blam. See you next time.
Bye for now, Wanderers.